Why do you need to sign a contract before you work for any school? We all know that you can work for some companies without signing a contract. But don't make any decision to move to abroad, um, either being in Asia or wherever, to work for any company without signing a contract. Because there are a lot of things in a contract you might you might need in you know, order to protect your life and you might need to you know protect yourself from the company so most of um, teachers ESL teachers will move to Asia or move to um, anywhere they will need a contract before they move out so in China we also um, the schools also always provide a contract for the teachers who are coming to work either being in China for a long time or either being like um, um, like a new teacher coming from abroad, they will still provide a contract for you. And there are a lot of things in the contract that, like some people might not understand, most especially if you are coming to China for the first time. So today, if you are here, uh, I'm gonna show you my contract and we're gonna talk about it. You can see it and I'll read everything and explain it for you. If today is your first time here, um, please kindly do me a favor and subscribe to this channel like this video click on the notification button so that anytime i post a new video you're gonna get a notification share it with your friends and give me uh, a thumbs up really appreciate it thank you okay i've been in china for quite a long time and like every school i'll move to even if i'm going to do a part-time for like one month or whatever I always request for a contract just because you know I'm a foreigner and I don't want to put myself in a situation whereby like um, like anything anything will happen to me you know so whatever be the case if you're moving to China or you are moving to Asia please make sure you sign a contract and most of the times, I sign one year contract with a respective for whatever be the school. But just my last school, um, the contract I'm going to show you um, is the only school I signed for two years contract. I signed it for like a couple of reasons because it was a hard time, you know, um, because of the virus and everything. And they requested me to sign two years contract and, you know, I have to sign because sometimes it's also good, you know, to be at them. Um, a certain school or certain area and work for a long time if they are treating you good and everything you know so that you can have the life you want and everything is it's also kind of okay so this is my con my contract teachers contract you know and uh, because of some security reasons you know I'm gonna you know hide some something but it's okay um, all that you're gonna need you're gonna see it and you can also read it and each contract in china they have it both in english and chinese and um, um i think maybe most of my contract that is what they have but if you want it in a different language like spanish or something maybe you have to get a contract and you get a translator or you can request them to translate it then they can send it to you then you can sign both um both languages you know but mostly we have it in English and Chinese so here it goes um, um, teacher contract okay and uh, most of the time do you know add your what you call your passport number your contract number the center or the school you are going to work with you know so um, the parties of this contract are are the name of the school um, herein called the employer and like uh, my name yeah so you can see i have jeffrey there i've hired some of my names here in call the employee and this made uh with reference to the following to the following the employer is duly lances to teach certain language and has all the required um government clearance to do so so they have it also in chinese as you can see okay so this contract is subject to changes as to comply with local labor laws the english translation of this contract will always take 
proceedings over their Chinese translation. Uh, the employee is a qualified and experienced and has applied to the school for employment. The employee and the employer have agreed on the following terms of contract. Okay, so this is just like introduction, you know. And then we go, so title. The title of the employee is foreign language teacher. So what are you gonna do in that school? So this is my contract and I'm foreign language teacher. Okay, so we go to term. Okay, the term of the contract is two years, as I told you, because um, due to some reasons, I wanted to sign two years um, contract. And um, with this one, I am, it's the first time they send um they send it to me so i haven't uh write the date you know uh, but the original you have to have the date on it so you have to check the contract read everything sometimes i even send it to my brother and my friends and they have to read it for me because you know the moment they send it to you there are, there might be certain things you might not understand so you can send it to like your trusted person, you know, for the person to read it for you. And um, then like before you sign and if there's something in the contract you don't understand, you can always negotiate. You can always tell them to change it, you know. So the date and continually until, uh, okay, until that date. Subject, however, to period termination of employees, employment in accordance with the section title termination so they have a termination also so some people are worried okay if i sign a contract can i term i can i terminate the contract yes you can terminate the contract okay so we move to the duties what you are supposed to do in the school so um these duties are very important because sometimes you might go i remember my first school um it it was in the contract, but I didn't read it well. So when I went, um, I supposed to, you know, arrange the classroom before the class and clean up after the class, not um, just to, to, you know, rearrange the chairs and everything. And I didn't do it for a couple of months, you know, there I got like deducted, you know. So you have to know your duties, everything. So whenever you're going to tell you, oh, sleep, don't sleep. You say, no, it's not in my contract. You can, um, like, there are certain things when they ask, okay, help us to, you know, pack these books, even though it might not be in their contract. But since you are working with them, you, you have to help, you know, so it's also okay. So let's move on to the duties. The duties to be performed by the employee include, okay, teaching English classes following their school you know the school procedure and everything okay so that is one um if the school i told you earlier that if the school they got their own courseware and everything then you have to follow it okay so um lesson planning and preparation at least 20 minutes before class you know so for my school we always um prepare our class for me also i mean sometimes i prepare like one week earlier you know because i'm doing a lot of things as a father and you know also doing this youtube and other things and studying you know so i prepare it one week earlier and um, i always discuss it with my local teacher before um like i'll go to class sometimes you might forget like which unit you are going to teach and you know what you're going to do in the classroom sometimes even games or whatever you might forget so uh, prepare it earlier Okay, supervising tests, including placement on a uh, unit, midterm, and final test. So most of the times you might do like a demo class. And uh, when you finish uh, with your, when you finish the demo, um, you have to do placement um, tests for the kid. Um, so that you can say, okay, this kid is good, that, that. So let's put the kid for this level, you know. So that is it all about okay so assisting with administration so you have to assist them with um, other administration work okay counseling um students okay so procreatively uh, participating in the school social program that is it um actively participating in employee training programs and workshop organized by the school 
okay so if i read everything it's going to be long so but these are some of the duties you have almost 10 duties here you know so you have to read everything all the duties and you know your tax what you're going to do in the school and then if you don't like any of them you can tell the the school okay so let's move on to the employees or is ob obligation um the employee warrants as follows you know so their obligations as follows the statement in the employee's curriculum vita resume and reference together with any other information submitted to the employer is um, so in support of the employee's application for employment are true and not misleading in any way the um, employee employee is in good physical health you know not having any um, disease or anything does not consume any illegal substances you know so yeah you know for sure because in china if you do the, um, those things you're gonna be in trouble okay so let's move on to uh what do you call it number four uh number three okay does not consume any illegal substances okay and um, the employee will devote his full working time and attention to duties and and so on and so forth so these are your obligations you also have to perform okay so then we we'll move on to the salary okay so for the salary part um i also hired my salary <laughs> it's not like anything but you know later when we get to like some of the security part you understand like you don't have to even tell your 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 friend or your colleague you are working with in the same school because sometimes you know people being people we being people you know i remember i worked for one university and i had a problem and i got fired because of sharing what i was earning with someone you know and they didn't know i thought i was you know being being friendly and you know i have to share it so that maybe the person can get whatever he or she has to get but they didn't know that i was sharing with an enemy so you have to be careful when you move abroad you are there to work for your money and move um you can make friends but you have to be much careful keep certain things secretly most especially when it comes to your contract because Chinese people not gonna pay all of us the same, like uh, maybe more than not not even Chinese people. Nobody gonna pay everybody working at the same company the same. So, if they're Chinese people or they're local people, they are keeping their secretly. You have to keep yours also secretly. Don't share it with like your friends or whatever. Even if you get a girlfriend there, please be careful. Don't share it until like you know like this person is hundred percent. I can trust this person, um, hundred percently. You know because for me um that of my friend he shared his own with me and i also share it and later you know tend to be like he was like um old teacher there you know working with them for such a long time and me being a new teacher you know i was in trouble i lost one month's salary and i got fired you know so be careful um sharing your salary everything you know um the duties their obligations might be the same but the salary not going to be the same so here uh, he says that um, the basic salary is blah 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 for one month probation you know so they'll put it even though i've been here for a long time by moving to a new school and even though i was working for the same company the the, the same company for for different you know branch you know but moving here they put me on one month probation but sometimes they will put you on like three months probation it's also okay but don't worry after the probation it's not like they're gonna fire you or something it it will only happen if i haven't heard that it, it will only happen when you are either sick or maybe they cannot renew your visa or maybe you have a problem or something like that you know but still you can you know negotiate for that so three months probation but for my one is for my own is one month probation and um okay so probation which is due and payable on the 15th of each month as i said in my last video um that um even if you work for the first month they're gonna pay you for the on the 15th of next month 
so that is why i said if you're moving to china and you don't have money to take care of your accommodation then let them you know provide free accommodation for you uh, okay you got it okay so it's due and payable on the 15th of um, next month each month uh, so you work with that and probate um probation period is one month according to the guidance of the school you know and um they will observe it and everything so after one month of probation their employees monthly salary will be adjusted to so mostly they will decrease it like maybe either 500 yuan like maybe 200 dollars or 300 dollars and after that they will give you the the salary you 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 talk about you know but during the probation they will decrease the salary please pay attention during the probation they will decrease it but after that they have to give you the the salary you ask for okay so that is it and for this my school is quite nice because they put a whole lot of things you know so here um this salary in including at least seven regular classes um short-term courses the their courses include um m lw you don't know about it um like small case bigger case and maybe smaller ones and so on you know and here it says that when the employee takes the eighth group when the employee takes the eighth group the employer will pay extra amount you know <laughs> it's a good aside that aside my salary so when you take the eighth um class you're gonna get this amount of money okay and uh, when you take the ninth one you're gonna get money also the tenth one you're gonna get money also you know but everyone's contract is different you know when i when i got this i was very happy because this was my first time that when i'm gonna have more classes i'm gonna get money but when i came here i saw some people when they're having seven classes they are getting money eight classes they are having money and even the seven and the eight classes they are having um, is you know like getting maybe more than what i do or maybe i'm getting more than what they are getting so like people trying to do a lot of things but you don't have to keep your own secret if they want to share you can listen but you have to also keep it secret if not you're gonna be in trouble you know and for here we have this basic salary contains what um we contains like amount of money for kpi money awarded so if like i'm getting like maybe twenty five thousand yuan or maybe let's take it like three thousand five hundred dollars a month they have this like maybe two to three hundred dollars which is kpi and this kpi it means like you know yeah such as you obey to work time no talking and other things no religious things and other, you know not doing any bad things against the school then you get this money no lateness and other things then that is it but if lateness and other thing they will take like some money from it so that is for the kpr i this is my first school i work for i it has this you know other schools um, there was nothing like that they'll give you all your salary so um if if you read your contract well and you don't like it you can let them remove from it i made a mistake and you know i was just concerned about the salary so this this one it 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 catch me like you know when you are fishing and you are not like aware like you are going to catch a fish you just throw the fishing rod and shoom, there comes a fish so this was what happened to me you know i was just focusing about the the salary you know okay so this is the second year um the second year basic salary of the employee you know so the second year before you sign the, the contract you have to let them okay after first year i wanted this and second year i want you to add this amount for me if you are not going to add the amount then maybe i'll send only one year so they have to increase it and they have to add other benefit you know so it won't it's not gonna be the same salary but if you want the same salary or you um when you can always negotiate you know at least you can always renegotiate it for your contract but one thing i have learned for uh for a while now is that when you're working for a school at least during the first year don't go and talk about money you know don't go and talk. just try to do your best give out your best and do whatever you can um if you're able to you know like 
do a good work after one year whatever you ask for they will give it to you but during the first year after two months you go blah 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 um three months blah 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 they will think like you are only here for money even though we are only here for money but you don't have to do that if you do that it's gonna be a little bit challenging for you and the school you know so be be careful with that and um, so when you stay like cool even though you might hear like oh at least i getting better salary than you um so maybe after one year you can just you know um talk to them and um then after that they'll say oh this guy is good so let's give him or her this you know that is it and um um yeah there comes about the apartment issue if you haven't watched about my free apartment video please kindly of go and watch it and then if you haven't watched about either free apartment or house allowance please also kindly of go and watch it okay so this part is for the apartment issue okay so the employer provides the employee the apartment for free for free if the rent is um like certain amount of money per year if it's more than that the employer provides this amount of money for the rent and the employee should afford the rest of the rent the employer should afford the electricity water gas and the internet cost monthly for this one you know i have to afford it myself for the apartment the employers pay this amount more to the owner as a deposit if there is anything broken in the apartment the cost of fixing will be taken from the salary of the employee yeah so when they sent me this contract all that i said is that you know guys nothing more nothing less just look for free apartment for me i don't want anything just free apartment for me and my family you know so they gave us this my apartment for free the apartment my free Lakers apartment video um i posted a few weeks ago they gave us for free yeah so that is that you can just even though they have this in the contract but you can ask for free apartment i don't want the money i don't want you to give me the allowance just take the money give me my free apartment and sometimes you can negotiate for what you call the utility bills you know the gas whatever but the gas maybe maybe they will pay maybe they will not pay because you are going to use it to cook and uh, the internet sometimes you can let them provide for you um this is the only school i bought the internet um, i bought the internet myself you know here yeah. um for most of the schools when i go they will have the internet for me so that is it other things you can negotiate for that you know okay so let's move on to the working hours so the working hours are 38 hours one hour equals 60 minutes per week including at least 22 hours you know for teaching and 15 hours um office hours this one got me but it was okay some people don't want to do the office hours you know 15 hours but you have to use it to prepare and this is for a training school so it's quite different but for universities there sometimes there are no office hours you know and you don't have to do anything but for maybe primary school or international school there are so it also depends you can negotiate for that you know and sometimes um they will be straight on that during the first year but after the first year there there is nothing you will be a free man you know you can move and do whatever you want to do is okay for that okay so that is per week you know and um the employee will attempt to accommodate the um the employer will attempt to accommodate the employee schedule for offer 1.5 days off so during my first six months they said i should work like i should work and i have one full day off and one half day you know so the full day off is full and the half day off i'll go to work like maybe around five to eight three hours you know this is one thing i love i love about china because you don't work for a lot of hours but you get money you know unlike you know comparing to uh, working in europe and other things and you know doing a whole lot of hard work and other i respect those over there but if you have a chance you can just move on and do come and teach in china and the next one is after six months i'm gonna get like two days off you know 
that is for that and uh, as i explained here from monday to friday without day off or they will give you a day off and then on weekend it depends you know so it's it, it's always depend on what you do and holidays this is one of the important thing i want to tell you you know whatever be the school you you will get make sure that they pay you during the um, national holidays national holidays christmas whatever labor day they have a lot of holidays in china even as i'm speaking to you we are in uh, what they call mid-autumn festival and they have to pay it because if not if not the holiday you go to work right so they have to pay for for you so um for this the employee will be giving all the holidays paid and what um ever national day new year's day spring festival labor day they will give it to you and this contract was good okay so after completing of 12 months on a year contract the employee will be entitled to um take paid day vacation time for a total of four days the employee can have that four days after work one year so i finished my one year already when you work for one year they'll give you four days and these four days plus three days sick leave it will be seven days these seven days you can take it and go for free and they will not take any money from the salary you can choose it anytime you want but you have to negotiate with them or you can get money for that so it depends if you want to go enjoy or you want to get money for that it's up to you and that is it if the employee works less than six months in the school and or still in the probation period the payment of the winter vacation and summer yeah so winter and vacation you have to get full salary but if you are still on probation during that time, so maybe you started work like two weeks and winter vacation is there, you have like less money for that, like maybe $100 per day or whatever. It depends on the school. That is it. Okay, so sick leave and emergency leave. The employee is allowed three, three sick days without deduction of salary during the period of employment. So... You have three days that's why i said three days plus four seven and that is all and the sick leave is nothing you know um like you can have like emergency whatever go and have your baby if you are a lady and go and get married whatever and you can check with it whenever they send you that contract you know for the sick leave and attendance in no circumstance should a teacher uh, be late for class you shouldn't do that that at all and the classroom schedule changes and other teachers should be arranged by the supervisor you know um, in my school we do have a supervisor who is also a foreign teacher so like you have to you know talk to your supervisor for everything and that that is all attendance that one is also good for your work at least most of the times i go to my class like five minutes before class or ten minutes because most of the times why I do that, most of the kids are like um, sometimes shy or scared of our skin color. So I go to the class, make them feel good. We play, we do all this, you know, funny things and that is all. And dress code, teachers are expected to dress in a smart and professional manner, you know. Just dress as they want you to do. It's nothing, nothing much, nothing less. And professional uh, conduct, you know. Uh, okay. So never have anything beyond a professional uh, relationship with a student. Never do that. Not at all. Don't don't try to go for jail for that place. <laughs> if I'm funny here for my my guys here, you know. Don't do that at all. You know. Even in the university, don't try to do that. Never have an okay intimate relationship with colleague or with uh, the of the company professional operation or integrity. Never do that. Never do that. So professional conduct read it very well you don't have to do that bro you don't have to do that sister you know so for termination here is it you can always terminate your contract even before it will expire you know but you have to read for the termination well very well because sometimes when you terminate it they have you have to give them some money and sometimes when they terminate it they have to give you some money okay so there it comes during the probation period both parties may cancel this agreement without any um severance benefit in accordance for accordance with the following the employee is required to work seven working days in advance by notice is written to the employee so the employer is required to work 
seven seven working days in advance by noticing in written to their employee the employee is required to seven working days in advance by notice in written to the employer yeah this my contract i even didn't read it very well my because my brother did it for me read everything for me i had no time that time you know so um, that is it you have to make like a written form in seven days of notice to give it to them before and if they also want to cancel it during the probation that is it during the contract period that is after probation you know um the employee reserve the right to terminate the employee's employment without any benefit in the following circumstance no show if like the boss can cancel your contract if you don't go to school you don't do this so this is also very important do that and um you also have the right to con um cancel the contract but it should be three months notice from the termination party to terminate party is required terminated party is required you know so three months notice you can terminate your contract because so let's move on to confidentiality confidentiality okay and with this employee will keep all information about this school secretly you know system everything you cannot share it with you someone the employee will not use the employ employers um, teaching method and materials in instruction of any private student or with any other another employer so you cannot do that you cannot take their things and do it you know everything should be um, kept secretly you know that is it other employment this is not very important so you have to make sure like you read your contract very very well before you sign it um as i said earlier if you want me to check your contract for you even though we have you, you have been told to keep it secret then you have to make sure you follow my instagram account send me your contract for you i will review it i will guide you you can hide whatever you want to hide I can just check with you know the terms and everything and i'll help you before you sign your contract um today is your first time here please don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the notification button so that anytime i post a new video you get it don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends so this is for the contract as i show you my contract and um whenever you get your contract please take your time read it over and over whatever you don't understand you can ask them for explanation or you can just ask somebody you know to help you to you know read it somebody who has been in china before or or working as a teacher so that it won't be any problem or it, they won't use it against you that is all for today my next video i'm gonna make a video about which school as a newcomer coming to china you shouldn't you shouldn't sign for which school you shouldn't go this is just an advice it doesn't mean like you're gonna be in trouble so with this i will just let you know why and why not you shouldn't go for this school if you have get any contract just let me know and comment below if you haven't it's okay you can also comment below if you need any help to get um a school you can comment below and i will just connect you to some agents here in china and um, i'm thinking of making um going live video you know to help you guys with um, um what those who want to move to china with the interview and um demo i want to teach you how to make the demo so if you guys want me to go on live and teach you how to make the demo please comment below and let me see the number of guys who are going to be here and because of the time um, the different time schedules we can set the time and i'll come live and then i'll teach you how to make your demo and how to attend to your interview if i have like at least um more than 10 people comment here and they want to move like very very soon to china i will come live and guide you guys on how to make the what they call it um the to conduct yourself during the interview uh if you don't even have a job i'll guide you how to get a job in china since the border is open and then i will guide you about the interview and everything and also i will guide you about the demo because when you come to china please you have to go and you know have a demo with the case and everything 
So watch out for my next video about which school you shouldn't sign for. Uh, that is very important because there are a lot of things happening here in China. So guys, that is all for today. Really appreciate your time and everything. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your time and everything. Bye-bye. Zai Jin. Ciao, ciao. See you next time. Bye-bye.